frail of body but full of spirit, Rafael Mayorga exudes the kind of calm determination most people in his condition would find hard to muster. Before being transported to this hospital in neighboring Brazil, the 30-year-old Venezuelan was at death's door. And while he's still extremely weak, he's also much improved. He had skin rashes, pneumonia, and all of his conditions were derived from his diabetes, which was uncontrolled. That's most probably because access to things like insulin is rare in Venezuela. Insulin, a medication for diabetes patients readily available in most countries the world over. But Rafael, whose aunt watches over him now, just as she had prayed over him when he was in a coma, wasn't so lucky. In Venezuela, we can't get anything. Life just isn't good there. We can't get medicine. We can't get insulin. Nothing. Had Rafael stayed there, he wouldn't be alive today. For the time being, Rafael is unable to speak, but he is communicative. His doctor, who studied medicine in Venezuela, still finds it hard to believe things have gotten so bad in her patient's homeland. When I was a student, Venezuela had technology that we couldn't find in Brazil, not just equipment, but also medicine. We now see that in only a few years, the health system deteriorated to the point that they don't even have the most basic needs. In this relatively poor part of Brazil, the influx of so many Venezuelans in need of medical care has put further strain on the area's already stretched health care facilities. Walking through crowded corridors of Horaima General Hospital, the director general shows me how they no longer have space for all the patients. Sadly, Rafael is one of many Venezuelans at this hospital suffering from a medical condition that should have been easily treatable. Another stark reminder of the near complete collapse of the healthcare system in Venezuela. Before coming to Brazil, 34 year old Ritzi Cordoba kept going to see the doctor about the pain in his abdomen. He was assured many times it was nothing serious. But months after arriving here in the city of Boa Vista, he got the proper diagnosis, appendicitis and an ulcer. It's a shame Venezuelans have to leave their country, where they were born, because of the economic situation and because of the lack of medicines for illness, and go to other countries who receive us with a friendly embrace. Some may call it an embrace. Others may call it treatment. For many ailing Venezuelans, though, it's a much-needed road to recovery they simply cannot find at home. Mohamed Jamjum Al Jazeera, Boa Vista, in Horaima State, Brazil.